Hello everyone, Fancy here. You're watching Fantavision, and today we're discussing something that is putting Walmart back in the news in a negative light. That's right, I made a video recently talking about how Walmart was rated as one of the best places in pandemic response, and how they've helped with people, and how they've given people jobs, but today we're talking about something a little bit different. <laughs> Of course, before we get into that, leave a like down below. Please subscribe, I'm really close to 50K. So, what has Walmart done? Walmart went from, you know, giving lots of people jobs that needed it and helping people get back on their feet and giving them temporary positions until this whole thing blows over. Now, we all knew that these positions were temporary, but we didn't know that these positions were so temporary that they were going to end before this whole pandemic thing ends. A lot of these people that have these temporary positions literally just lost their jobs. And now they are going to lose their job again. That's right, these temporary employees are going to start being eliminated left and right. These positions are going to be completely gone. Things are going to go back to normal even though these stores aren't. I'm getting reports of stores still being just as busy as before when this whole thing started, and yet they're starting to lay off the temporary positions. Now again, I've only had certain stores confirm there has been nothing said from Walmart corporate yet, though Walmart corporate actually, this is another thing that they just laid off a couple hundred people in Walmart corporate. Another place where people are losing jobs, so instead of fixing the fact that millions of Americans are losing jobs, they are adding to the fact that millions of Americans are losing their jobs. So, with the people not being able to pay rent, all these other people in financial crises, and these temporary jobs and these corporate jobs, helping people avoid all of those issues that other people in this country are facing, Walmart's pushing to the side. Nope. Bye bye, time to streamline things. That's what they said about these corporate jobs. They want to streamline a lot of these management positions and get rid of them. They also want to get rid of these temporary positions. And the thing is, is management in these stores, from what I've heard, don't even know what's going on. They don't understand why they're getting laid off yet. Because there are still so many people coming into these stores. They're still incredibly busy because people are not going to restaurants. People are not eating out as much because they're trying to stay indoors and it's difficult to eat out. Even if they wanted to eat at a restaurant, most of them have very limited seating and a lot of people simply can't afford to eat out right now. So they need to eat at home and what they're doing is they're going to Walmart and they're buying groceries more often than going to restaurants. And because of that, these stores are incredibly crowded. And also, people are just coming up with excuses to leave their house. People are getting sick and tired of just being at home. They're looking for any reason to go anywhere. Walmart is one of those places. When I drive past pretty much any store, including Walmart, I am seeing full parking lots, especially because they limited their hours. Now, I don't know how much longer they're going to be doing this. I don't know if the Walmarts in your area are doing this, but our Walmarts are still closing around eight. And because of that, that then compresses the amount of time that people can shop, which then makes them busier, which then brings up the question, why are you firing 200,000 people at some point? That's right. There are two. 100,000, if not more, temporary positions that Walmart filled and looked like the good guy at the beginning of this pandemic. But now, they've reaped all the karma, all the goodwill of all the news and all the media, and they're starting to slowly trickle lay them off. I've heard some stores laying off five people a week. I've heard other stores just simply laying off the entire workforce and not telling them. Some of them are cutting only non-key positions. Some of them, it's... It's interesting the way that these different stores that I've heard from are doing this, but it is happening. And it just, it still shocks me to the fact that this is not over. The big rush to buying groceries, the big, the whole pandemic is not over yet. A lot of people think it is, but it's not. And because of that, we need these people to keep their jobs so they can keep paying rent, so they can keep having a house. I, I don't think you understand how many people that work at Walmart desperately need that money. For a while now, 
Walmart has been giving out hours left and right. They have been allowing people to work overtime. They've been allowing people to pick up extra shifts. They've been allowing people to be full time, even if they're not really. They're probably doing it in some legal loophole way where they have to work like 39 hours instead of 40 or something like that. But there are lots of people that they were giving tons of hours to and now they're starting to cut that back and they're starting to cut people off. Just like most corporations, even though they're raking in the profits, they're still cutting people. Walmart's in-store sales have jumped up 20%. Their e-commerce sales, which is their website, that has jumped up 74%. So they're seeing record profits. They're seeing lots of money coming through those doors. Even with all of these people they just hired, they're still seeing 20%. They're still seeing that 74%. And yet still, they're letting these people go. A really bad time to be letting people go. And this, the sad thing is, I almost said the funny thing is, but it's not funny to me. The sad thing is, is that I called this. I called this during my video. I said this was going to happen. I said that Walmart was only going to keep these people around until just like they really needed them. And I said that as soon as they saw a slight hint that they didn't need these people anymore, Boom, gone. But I did not call that they would do it this early. I mean, this is crazy just how early they are cutting these people. We're still seeing millions of people losing their jobs. We're still seeing hundreds of thousands of people getting infected. So we're, st we're still seeing the numbers go up as testing goes up. I mean, we're seeing all these different numbers and we're not seeing things reopen. So even though the demand is there for extra workers, Walmart's cutting them anyway. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a temporary cut, maybe they'll bring people back. Everything is still up in the air, but the thing that really makes this even a sketchier situation is the fact that some stores, the management doesn't even know why. Now, they could just not be telling my contacts, but I think that corporate is just slowly going to do this to not get back in the news. I think they want to keep that karma that they got from before and they want to quietly do this to not look bad. Even though they were in the news, they couldn't escape this one for cutting hundreds of people from their corporate. Another thing I want to keep in mind since we're on the topic of Walmart, this isn't about them letting people go. This isn't about firing people from corporate and getting rid of different regional managers. I mean, it sounded like GameStop, but Walmart is actually successful. Walmart, keep this in mind, has kept pushing back against paying their hourly workers $15. Now I know that sounds like a lot of money to people, but again, a lot of these people that are working hourly cannot work full time. It is so difficult to get a full time position with benefits at Walmart. It really is. I knew like a couple people that got it and they got lucky. I know so many others that fought as, and worked their ass off to try to become a full-time retail worker at Walmart and they couldn't do it. We were told to our face that if you have a degree, you are not allowed to have a full-time job at our specific store. Now this could be different other places, but at our specific store, they would not promote you. They would not give you full time if you had a college degree because they just think that you're going to get another job somewhere else. But my, my question is why not just make them full time to begin with? That's because they don't want to give benefits. So keep that in mind as I tell you that their rebuttal to the reason they don't pay their hourly associates $15 instead of 11 is because their full time workers are paid $14.25 on average. Now, take back in consideration how difficult it is to be a full-time worker at Walmart. Also take into consideration that nearly half of their employees are only part-time. So they are not having to pay all of these other people benefits. They're only paying these people $11 per hour. They're saving so much money on this other labor that they're just taking advantage of people that can't find a job somewhere else, especially right now. Trying to find a job somewhere else right now is a pain in the ass because there are, like I said, there are millions of people that are looking for a job, especially as all these unemployment benefits are gonna be going away. Especially as the stimulus check keeps getting argued in Congress. There's so many people right now that 
need a place that is going to pay for their health insurance, that is going to take care of them and pay them a living wage, and Walmart is not that place. Even with these temporary positions, I'm sure they were just barely scraping by, but at least they had something, but now they're not even going to have that. Always remember, no matter what Walmart tries to put out there as propaganda, no matter what good deeds it looks like they're doing, they're just like every other corporation. They are only looking out for themselves. If they're doing a good deed, it's to make their company look good so they'll get more people to spend money there. Because it has shown time and time again that this generation cares more and more about the ethics of the company that they're buying from. Now, I know it's still not a huge percentage, but that percentage does keep going up. People do start looking into companies, learning about them, and wondering where they should actually be putting their money. Who do they want to support? What morals do they want to support? And that is why I'll be doing that Evil Company series very soon. I'm still in the preliminary research phase. I just, I think it's going to be an important series because you deserve to know where your money's going, how it's being spent. And I feel like if you can avoid Walmart as much as possible, it's a good way to vote with your wallet. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like down below if you guys liked the video. Subscribe for more content. As always, have a fantastic day. And please join me for my birthday stream tonight. I look forward to seeing you all there. I'll be playing Halo. If you have Halo, please come play with me. If not, come hang out. And, uh, you know, it'll be, it'll be a fun birthday stream. Have a fantastic day. See you, everybody. For anybody curious about the Belching Beaver Mango IPA, because there are some people, this is a fruit, a delicious and fruity IPA without the punch to the face. The, I don't know why I read that weird. The Amarillo, or Amarillo, I don't know which it is. And Simico hops complement natural mango flavor for a juicy, tropical, and well-balanced beer. Now, I have stopped drinking the like fruit flavored ones i mean i don't i don't do it as often anymore i know i had the mango one earlier but we accidentally bought that one i prefer the fruity flavors coming from the hops themselves kind of like how i don't like flavored whiskey i like the crazy cool flavors coming from the process of distilling and aging it and the finishes they do in different types of barrels but i have to admit this is a really damn good beer it's definitely one of those beers that's really good for people that are just starting off with drinking beer or want to go into IPAs without getting slapped in the face with, uh, like, pine. Like it's, it's what a lot of people experience when they're, they're tasting hops. It's just like pine. Also, I got the 2DS XL. I successfully hacked it, and I'll be doing a video on that soon. I'll also be doing a video on this chair because I received it a couple weeks ago. I wanted time to get used to it, to see if I actually enjoyed it, stuff like that, because I was sent a review chair. I never thought that would happen. And I actually got sent a second review chair. So uh, you'll be seeing a different chair very soon.